I can see the future. Robots live among us. There are smart fridges and toothbrushes, smart everything. People can communicate just by thought. Oh, except in Germany. What is it they're still using there? Is that a fax machine? Guess what proportion of German businesses still use fax often or very often? Sorry, this might take a while. Two thirds, that's more than they use smartphones or video conferences. And it's not just faxing. While snail mail is fast falling out of fashion in other countries, Germany still loves a good letter. Then there's the country's stubborn affection for physical paperwork and physical cash. Germany is a wealthy country with a notable track record on business and innovation. So what's with the slow pace when it comes to going digital? One study looking at digital readiness across the world concluded that Germany has all the right conditions for digital success. What holds it back is a lack of investment and an aversion to trying new things. Digitalisierung. 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 Digitalisation has been a buzzword in German politics for years. So what's actually being done to help Deutschland go digital? Most households now have access to high-speed broadband. But the country still lags behind many of its European neighbours when it comes to mobile internet. Wie läuft Digitalisierung in Deutschland? Ziemlich schlecht. Schleppend? Nicht ganz so gut wie in anderen Ländern. Nicht optimal. Aber ich sehe Digitalisierung jetzt auch nicht als das größte Ziel an. Das interessiert mich jetzt nicht brennt, aber ich weiß, dass es extrem wichtig ist. Ich denke, dass die Wirtschaftsentwicklung maßgeblich davon abhängt. Und außerdem ist es ziemlich nervig, mit Leuten in Indonesien zu telefonieren und die haben besseren Empfang. Here comes a very important piece of vocab in Germany. Funkloch. It literally means radio hole. When you're on the phone and suddenly the line goes dead, or you're frantically clicking refresh but the page or the app won't load, you've fallen into a Funkloch. 5G is the new holy grail, with plans for a countrywide network in Germany by 2026. What about Digitalisierung in schools? The digital picture varies wildly from region to region and school to school. Billions of euros have been set aside by the government, but what seems to be missing is the central strategy and digital expertise on the ground. Mittlerweile ist es, wird es langsam ein bisschen besser. Viele Schulen schaffen sich zumindest mal Whiteboards und sowas an. Es wird jetzt Geld äh, ausgegeben, Tablets angeschafft, Laptops und was weiß ich was, aber das Personal dazu äh, und die Erziehung dazu fehlt. Ich glaube, dass man bei Lehrern oft auch merkt, dass sie eben nicht wissen, was sie tun. Aber das liegt nicht unbedingt an den Lehrern, sondern an zu wenig Geld für Schulungen zum Beispiel. Let's get back to business. In 2019, only one in five German businesses invested in a digital business model. But perhaps that's not surprising. German consumers can be particularly skeptical when it comes to using digital services. It turns out there are several things that the Germans tend to value more than mere convenience. Germans are extremely wary of giving their data away. German businesses list this as the biggest hurdle when it comes to going digital. Auf einer Skala von 1 bis 10, wie wichtig ist Datenschutz für Sie? 10. 9? 9. 9. 9. 7. 10? 10. According to a survey, half of the German population is afraid of radiation from mobile phone masts or electronic devices. 49% believe that radiation from a mobile phone can alter a person's DNA, and the same number of people don't feel adequately protected by the state. In Germany, I'm often struck by the fact that people seem particularly reluctant to line the pockets of large foreign corporations. But sometimes this national skepticism drives local innovation. Take ride hailing, for example. The US giant Uber has made slow and limited progress in Germany. Nutzen Sie Uber? Nein. Ich nein. nicht, nein. Ich auch nicht, nein. Was? Gibt es das überhaupt in Deutschland? Auf gar keinen Fall. Ja, aber nicht in Deutschland. Nein, brauche ich nicht. But in Berlin, the local transport service now has its own shared shuttles. And in Hamburg and Hanover, Volkswagen has a fleet of swanky electric vans offering shared rides. These services are ordered and paid for by app. See Germany? Digital can be fun!